quick spoiler tip, we're going to talk a little bit more about water softeners. If we've got hard water going into our boiler, the minerals, calcium and magnesium, are going to precipitate out and end up on our boiler tubes. So this was removed from an unfortunate boiler along with the tubes um, in a very extensive repair. So to combat this, we've got two simple things that we're going to use in the form of a water softener. Resin and salt. Resin is a tool that we use to remove the calcium and magnesium from the water and salt is the tool that we use to remove the calcium and magnesium from the resin. So with the two of these operating hand in hand we can keep our water clean going into the boiler and have a long boiler life. We've got daily tasks with the water softener checking it making sure that we're getting soft water and of course adding salt but there are a few things that we need to do at certain intervals to make sure that everything stays in good working order. Um, sometimes the salt that we buy has impurities, bits of rock, uh, silt, etc. So it's not a bad idea to drain down your salt tank or use up all the salt occasionally just to clean it out. And I'll typically do that when I've got the boiler down and I can dissolve the salt that's in there just by not adding salt uh, as we approach the shutdown um, or running a hose in there and just dissolving the salt that's remaining um, so that I can clean it out. The second part of maintaining this is pulling and inspecting the foot valve. The foot valve plays an important role. Um, first, it keeps the tank from overfilling when the brine tank's refilled by the softener automatically. But the second thing it does is it actually prevents the softener from sucking air by completely draining the brine tank during regeneration. So it's got a minimum level and a maximum level. But if this gets dirty, if we get salt debris and whatnot in this tube, um, it can malfunction. So if we just take this out, rinse it with clean water, um, we can dissolve any salt that's on the foot valve. Secondly, we can actually take a hose and put it inside the foot valve tube and just allow it to run for a while, maybe while dissolving some salt to, to clean out the brine tank. And that'll just dissolve any salt that's migrated into or accumulated in this tube. And that's just gonna make sure that everything on this end of the softener is working properly so that the rest of the softener can do its job. Mm -hmm.